you fellow retro techers and welcome once again to another box so it's an unboxing video we'll start by using my trusty rusty trusty rusty that should be the name of it stanley knife to strip the outer casing off this box and we'll see what it is we have inside So imaginative pack in here, things look like thin liners. Okay. One pound Jaffa cakes. Well, I hope it's not that inside. Okay. And this side. Hmm. Okay, that is getting rather imaginative now. This looks like bedding. Okay, I hope it's clean. Oh, okay, bedding and a hoodie leading down to not only have we got a power book a power book g4 by the look of it but we've got a free hoodie as well okay let's look what it is we've got here and it is power book g4 looking fairly sorry for itself so what we'll do is let's get it up on the bench let's have a closer look at it and we'll have a bit of a chat into why i am so excited about getting one of these machines into the retro tech repair shop so that we can have a look at it see you in just a second okie doke so here we are on the bench and we can see the 15.4 inch powerbook g4 in front of us now what makes this so special to me is that this computer or mac is the very first Mac that I ever owned. Not this particular one itself, but the range of PowerBook. So way back when, in 2010, <laughs> rhyming, um, when I first started a job and I got my first bonus, I went out and bought one of these on eBay for £400. Now, back in those days, they would have been five years old. So it was buying a five-year-old machine. They came out around 2005. Uh, and when I bought it, it was pretty much immaculate. It was a fantastic machine, but Intel had just made the change, really, um, a couple of years before over to Intel. So they were going for what you actually got for the money for fairly cheap. Um, upgradable to OS X Leopard. So again, it was a fairly current operating system and it was just amazing it was the first machine that i'd ever had that was what i would call stylish and i still have a real fond you know space in my heart for this shape and design i think it looks fantastic it's nice and clean i really like the plastic gaskets that go between the end of the uh, palm rest down to the aluminium chassis i think it looks really nice um so like i say it was the first mac that i had ever had and it was my first venture into the mac ecosystem if you will uh, at the time i had an iphone 4 um so you know it was perfect um everything linked together the photos i could store off it was before the day of iphoto where everything actually synced up for you but you could get your photos off easily you could sort out your your itunes you know whatever you bought on here you could get on your phone it was it really was fantastic and i really liked it and i don't think without this computer i don't think i'd be here today doing these uh, videos it really set me off into the sort of uh the realm of um apple and then i went further back and bought 
myself and iBook G3, like the one that we've uh, restored in that mini series. If you want to see that, please look at the playlist. Um, there's a playlist for the iBook G3 clamshell. Um, it's a good watch. <clears throat> that was a, a real state when we got it. So, um, yeah, that's it. We've unboxed it. We've had a look at it. No charger with it, but we've got one here anyway. Um, so, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll power it up. We'll see whether it starts or not. Uh, and we'll go from there. This was literally bought for 15 British pounds. Um, seller said that it turned on but didn't boot. And the only thing that was in the listing was Think it Needs OS. So I've got a good feeling that the hard drive is going to be broken in it. But when we boot it, when we boot it up even, not boot it, when we boot the laptop up, we'll see exactly what we get. But you'll have to wait to the next episode for that because that is the end of this little snippet into the start of the PowerBooks journey with us here at RetroTech. Please like and subscribe. Um, Click that little notification bell that will give you alerts as to when we put new videos up and the second instalment of this where we'll power it up and see what's wrong with it. Uh, and yeah, please comment, uh, leave suggestions for what you think I should do next and what other computers we should start looking at here. That's all from me. Bye for now.